Hello, I am Dr. Sachin Kulkarni, Fertility Consultant at Pristine Women's Hospital, Kolhapur. Going to take you through the presentation on embryo transfer day. Hello, I am Dr. Sachin Kulkarni, Fertility Consultant from Pristine Women's Hospital, and I am going to take you through the presentation on embryo transfer day. Embryo transfer is the most important step of IVF. All the efforts which have been taken to develop the eggs, do the pickup, all the intricate laboratory work which has been carried out and it has formed the nice embryos. Now all these embryos have to go back to the uterus for implantation. So if embryo transfer goes wrong, all the efforts taken in the past could be wiped away. So it's extremely important. Most importantly, the embryo transfer procedure has not changed much since the discovery of the scientific innovation of in vitro fertilization. What are the procedural steps? The procedural steps are very similar to an intrauterine insemination which a lot of you might have experienced in the past. Then most important is to have a dummy transfer. Generally this dummy transfer is done on day two of the previous menses. It is also called a mock transfer in many of the clinics. The doctor herein chooses the catheter which he will load the embryos and transfer. He remembers the curves of the uterine canal, takes the measurement and gets the feel. It's something like a prelim exam before you take the finals. And you are also comfortable once a dummy transfer is done because you have gone through the experience of an embryo transfer. A lot of your pressures and physical stress is less when you have undergone a dummy transfer in the past. When you arrive at Christine Bowman's for an embryo transfer, please do speak to Dr. Uma or to Dr. Sachin to understand the steps of an embryo transfer and also know about the embryo status, like how many embryos, what is the grade, and uh, how many embryos will be shifted in embryo transfer, and how many embryos are available for cryopreservation. Are you going to go to the blastocyst? All these details will be spoken by Dr. Uma and Dr. Sachin. Have you taken your sustained vaginally in the morning? Please do take it as a routine. Do take your secure AQ 25 mg injection intramuscularly as been advised earlier. All the routine tablets like folic acid, thyroid supplements, arginine powder should be taken in the morning. During the process of embryo transfer, whenever they do a vaginal training, a sustained tablet which is partially dissolved in the vagina will come out. But the nurse after the post procedure will assure that a new tablet is put in and the progesterone levels will be kept, kept up and not allowed to drop down. We always advise to remember the Almighty. After all, the science can develop the embryos, but in whom the embryos would implant or what factors wherein will not allow the implantation of embryo is still an enigma. So please do pray the Almighty you trust him to help you out with this implantation and carrying on with the pregnancy so very well deserved by you. Do spend some time calmly seeking the blessings of the Almighty. Do practice meditation prior to embryo transfer. Now how do we practice meditation? You may not like to go all the way to the God or to talk about God in meditation but simple way would be just sit at one place, close your eyes and just keep concentrating on your heart rate and just keep counting your pulse. You slowly come out of all the external factors like sounds and physical things which are taking place in the environment affecting you and you start concentrating on your own heart rate and that's nothing but meditation. Prior to the procedure, see to it that your urinary bladder is partially full. Please do not pass urine for at least one hour prior to embryo transfer. You can definitely have a cup of tea or some breakfast. Since this procedure is without anesthesia, you can have a cup of water or even an ice cream. Doctors may you do your sonography like Dr. Uma or Dr. Nandita may just do a sonography just to check that your bladder is adequately full to have a very comfortable embryo transfer. Embryo transfer is done under sonography guidance. So like you are seeing in this picture, the probe which is a white structure which is here which is placed on the abdo lower abdomen and through which we are able to see the uterus. And this allows and assures the correct placement of the embryo transfer catheter and the embryos into the uterine cavity. 
at the end of the procedure when the catheter is withdrawn the small dot of the embryo correct embryo placement which has taken place in the uterine cavity will be shown to you by the assistant doctor after the procedure you will be kept on the table for 5 to 10 minutes then on a stretcher trolley you will be shifted back to the room please do take rest in supine position for a period of 1 to 2 hours then you can definitely go around you can eat food you desire and there is no need to take a complete bed rest for all those 13 14 days what you, what is expected out of you is to eat a proper cooked food not to have intercourse avoid infectious conditions by eating unhealthy foods and juices and also avoid contact with people who have a lot of cough and cold and coryza before you leave the hospital after the embryo transfer we see to it that you have received the correct prescription you have taken all the advices of do's and don'ts for the next 14 days from Dr. Omar, Dr. Sachin or Dr. Nandita. Your day of beta HCG testing has been finalized and do you have all the contact numbers contacting back to the hospital and this is my mobile number. If you have any emergency messages, you can emergency message me or WhatsApp me. At Pristine, we wish and may God bless you with the pregnancy and please do take care. Thank you.